Okay, hi guys, this is Steve from City Eyes. Today we are at the famous Borough Market in London. This is definitely one of the best markets in London. I love this market. I love to come here because there is so much food, so much street food, so much dessert around here that it's just amazing. I haven't been eating sugar for a whole week, preparing myself for this day because I know that there is some great desserts in Borough Market. So yeah, let's give it a try. The first stop on my Borough Market cake tour was the Bread Ahead Bakery. People in the Bread Ahead Bakery are baking some fantastic bread and pastries, but they are also very famous around London for their excellent donuts. And that's the reason why I stopped there. These donuts are definitely in the top of my list and I always buy some when I'm visiting Borough Market. Just go there and you will see why. I bought two. The most recommended one is the vanilla donut, which is this one. It has nice vanilla cream inside. And then I just pick randomly the chocolate donut as well, which has some chocolate chip on top of it. Uh, they both look great. Chocolate, you know, you can never do anything wrong with chocolate. So hopefully it will be good. I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to try the, the vanilla one. Oh my god, it looks good. Look at that sugar on top of it. Yeah, it's very fluffy, nice and oily. So it must be good. Mm. Okay, this is really good donut. There is a lot of cream inside. I actually saw the guy putting the cream inside right before we bo I bought the donut. So it's definitely very fresh. Mm. Seriously, I love this donut. To be honest, one donut costs three pounds, which is quite a lot. But uh, as I saw in the stall, they're they're disappearing. The guy just put a new tray there, and they were gone in a few minutes. So they're always fresh. I can feel how fresh it is. Let's try now the chocolate one. Yeah, it looks great. Based on my vanilla donut experience, I have totally i'm already drooling just looking at it so let's give it a big bite mm. oh my god such a rich chocolate taste i think it's like hazelnut chocolate yeah it, it feels a little bit like hazelnut chocolate again it's lots of it inside the taste is amazing. Oh, it's so good. Nice and oily, fluffy, with a lot of chocolate cream inside. The sugar around works nicely with the chocolate, give it a little bit of sweetness. Works together perfectly. My next stop was at the Greedy Gold. If you happen to be visiting the Boro Market on the sunny summer day like I did, you may want to stop here for some delicious ice cream made from the British goat's milk. The ice cream at the Greedy Goat is not only extremely good and creamy, but it's also supposed to be friendly to lactose intolerant people. At Greedy Goat the most recommended ice cream is actually salted caramel, so I went for salted caramel, but there is a seasonal banana and pecan ice cream as well. I always go for two because why not? It sounds good. One scoop costs three pounds. For, for two scoops, it's six pounds. It's quite expensive, I have to admit, but it looks good. I'm going to give it a try. Oh, yeah, really nice banana taste. I like the consistency of the ice cream. It's definitely more creamier, a little bit thicker. It's very good ice cream. Let's go for a little bit of the caramel taste. Oh yeah. 
I think this is how salted caramel should taste. I'm going to dig out a little bit more of salted caramel ice cream. That's so good. Talking about the ice cream, you can also enjoy a delicious Italian gelato at the Gelateria Trivis. I didn't stop at the Gelateria Trivis this time because I already tried their amazing gelato at the Portobello Road Market. You can find the link to the video in the description below. The gelato is dangerously good, so be ready for some serious waiting time. But in a hot day like this, it's probably worth it. The gelato is excellent. After some ice cream from the Greedy Gold, I went to the Cinnamon Tree Bakery. I always stop here on my visits to Borough Market. I couldn't resist their offer and bought 4 items for £8 for the next day breakfast treat. Seriously, don't miss the Cinnamon Tree Bakery on your Borough Market visit. Right in front of the Cinnamon Bakery is the Yon Patisserie which focuses on handmade cakes. People on the internet highly recommend their New York cheesecake and that's exactly what I went for. I can honestly say that it was one of the best cheesecakes I ever had in my life. I bought cheesecake from the Yon Patisserie. The most recommended one was the New York cheesecake. So let's dig in. The texture looks really nice. It's a good presentation. This is a good one. I like it. I can definitely see why it is the best selling cheesecake in the Yon Patisserie. So if you will visit, go for New York cheesecake. After all these sweets, it was time for some coffee. Luckily, the Mama's Coffee has a shop at Borough Market. Mama's coffee is, in my opinion, making one of the best coffees in London. But be careful, it comes with a price. If you buy coffee here, it may ruin your life, as you won't be able to enjoy your ordinary everyday coffee anymore. Also, be ready for some serious waiting time. After a lot of sweets, it's a good time to have some coffee. Well, I had to stand in a long queue to wait for my coffee, but it was definitely worth it. I ordered the uh, ice latte. So let's enjoy it. It's uh, time for another cookie or brownie or ice cream. On my way to buy some brownies, I had to stop at the Comte to A Gourmet, which is focusing on French cakes and pastries. I bought one of the recommended Paris breast cakes, and it was an excellent choice. Bestseller and the most recommended is the Paris Breast, which is basically choux pastry filled with the hazelnut praline cream and topped with some uh, almonds. Yeah, it looks very nice. I mean, choux pastry is always very good, and hazelnut filling sounds like a good idea. Mm. This is really good. The hazelnut flavor is coming through so nicely. Mm. It's delicious. Shoe pastry is very nicely baked and the hazelnut praline cream is delicious. It's very creamy, it's a fantastic dessert. I love it. The next stop on my journey through Borough Market was Portenia. Portenia focuses on Argentinian street food and I came there to try some alfajores filled with the delicious dulce de leche. So I bought one Alfa Jores, which is basically two cookies sandwiched together with the Dulce de Leche, which is the milky caramel. It looks really good and I also taste a little bit of the Dulce de Leche on the spot and it was really delicious. So I have a high expectations for this thing. Let's give it a try. 
I will try to just buy it. But Mm -hmm. This is really nice. Oh, it's so delicious. The the cookie dough is nicely moist, and the milky caramel give it a really nice and sweet kick. This is very good dessert. I really like it. Mm. This is so good. I mean, the milky caramel can be a little bit too sweet for someone, but the size of the thing is actually quite nice, small for like one bite. So, yeah, it's really good. I like it. It makes me want to go to Argentina, actually. It's really good. Mm. The last stop of my dessert tour through Borough Market was the Conditor and Cook Bakery which is well known around London for their brownies. Their brownies were the first I tried in London and it instantly set my bar for brownies very high. If you feel like brownies, go to Conditor and Cook. So I moved from the Borough Market to go a little bit further to actually sit in a park and enjoy my box of Conditor and Cook brownies. So yeah, I'm going to try it. It's, uh, these brownies are very recommended. I think that's their top sellers, definitely. And if you are visiting Borough Market, this is the place to come and stop. So I'm going to, I actually bought the brownie with a cheesecake topping, so I'm going to try it straight away. Oh, it's quite thick. That's always a good sign, no? Oh, look at this. You can see a little bit of cheesecake topping on, on it. Oh, smells delicious, chocolate. Mm. Mm. I actually have the bit of chocolate in this bite as well, so mm, very rich chocolate taste, not very sweet, and a little bit of cheesecake on top of it makes the combination. Yeah, it makes the combination great. I also bought the the Boston brownie, which has a cranberries in it. It's kind of like weird combination brownies with some fruits, but. I, I think in this case it can actually work, like chocolate with a little bit of sourness. Look at this, I can see the cranberry in it. I have a good feeling about this. Mm. Oh my god. This brownie is really melting in your mouth and the sourness of the cranberry gives it a the combination just really nicely works. The nice sweet chocolate taste and the sour of the cranberry, it's amazing. Oh my god, I, I probably like this brown even more than the, the cheesecake one. I can definitely recommend. Time to finish my today's visit of the Borough Market in London. It was amazing, I had some delicious desserts, uh, quite a lot of them to be honest, so my sugar level is quite high. But when you will be visiting Borough Market, whatever you will choose from the list I introduced today, you won't regret at all. Everything was amazing. So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, it's time to go to gym.